welcome summations are used extensively in computer science in theoretical courses like algorithms data structures networks theory of formal languages and automata artificial intelligence and many other subjects summations are encountered in a variety of topics practical courses like C C++ Java PHP Astra also require a sound knowledge of summations to solve many important problems. In this module, we will cover different aspects of summations, ranging from simple topics like summation notations to advanced topics like approximating a summation series with the help of integrals. I am Muhammad Iqbal Bhatt and I will be your instructor for this module. So let's begin our journey. Suppose we want to find the finite sum of these 10 numbers using programming notation we can replace each of these numbers with a variable say a of i so above sum can be written as now we can write it using summation notation as Here, the Greek uppercase letter sigma denotes the summation. I is the index of the summation and starts with its lower limit 1 and ends with its upper limit 10. Similarly, if we want to add n numbers, then we can write it as Here the index goes from 1 to n. To sum n infinite series a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dash 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 dash, we can write it as sum equal to. Now, let us understand summation notation with certain more examples. Express sum of first n natural numbers with summation notation. Here is the solution. Second, express the sum of squares of first 10 natural numbers with summation. Here is the solution. We will see more examples as we proceed in the course. Hope you got the basic idea of how to express some series with summation notation. Here are some frequently used summation formulas. These formulae are frequently required while solving summation problems. So we request our learners to kindly remember these formulas. These formulas will be required quite often to use summations correctly you must know certain properties of summations which will be covered next